Hey, welcome to Tutorials Point. We are continuing to build our hospital landing page using React.js. You can find the links for GitHub and other parts in the description below. Now in this video, we will build the services component. So let's start building our services component. But before that, let me just go back to browser. Yeah, so in our browser, as you can see, we have this uh, scroll bar problem. And this problem is in this component. What is this component called? Let me just go back to Visual Studio Code. And yeah, it's our banner component. So let me just open banner.jsx. And here, uh, what I'm going to do for now is I'm just going to add some line breaks. So after every good thing, I would just add a line break, something like this. And another line break would be after good health. So, okay. So let me just add another line break here. Let me save it. Let's go back to browser. And as you can see, the scroll bar, the scroll bar problem is of course gone, right? Okay, great. Now let's go back to Visual Studio Code. Let me just close this. All right. So now we are going to create our services component. For that, I will create a new folder inside our components. And let us call it, I don't know, uh, something like uh, services. So I'll write services, hit enter. Now inside our services, I will create our component. Uh, let's call it uh, services.jsx, of course. And in here also a CSS file. So services.css. And there you have it. Okay, so in our services.jsx, I'm going to write R-A-F-C-E. And here we have basic React boilerplate. <clears throat> and then let me just write import our CSS file. So it will be services.css. All right, save it. Now in our app.js, we need to import it. So here I'll just import our services component. And as you can see, it automatically gives us the suggestion. Let's just press enter. And there you have it. I'll just save it. Let's go back to browser to check. And I hope it's there. As you can see, we have the services here. Fine. Let me just zoom in if you're not able to see. And we have the services here. All right. Let me just zoom out. Let's go back to Visual Studio Code to start designing it. All right. Okay. Now, in our services, what we are going to do is something very simple. Firstly, I'll just give this parent name, uh, this parent div a class name. And let's call it services container. Okay. Now, inside the services container, I'm going to create another div. Actually, I'm going to create a, a heading tag, an h3 tag that will just say our services. Now inside, I'll just create another div and let's give it a class of services a wrapper. Hit enter. All right. So this is uh, pretty much it for our services. And for, uh, for the services, now inside our services wrapper div, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create another component, right? It will be very simple. Let me just show you for our components folder. I'll create a new folder and let's call it a service. Okay. Now inside service, I'll create a component and I'll say service.jsx and a CSS file also. So I will write service.css. Now note out the difference. This is the, a services component and this is a service component, right? Great. So let me just close this for now. So for our service.jsx, let me write basic react boilerplate, something like this. Let me just import the CSS file. So I'll write service.css and save it. Let's go back. Now in our services, let's import it here in our services component. So I'm going to import my service component inside our services component. Okay. So I'll write service. Okay, uh, this should be actually in capital letter, the first letter here, right? So let me just go here and let me rename it. Because it is always a good practice to write our components in uh, capital letter, something like this. So let me just change it here as well. And export default will be service. Okay, let me save it. Let's go back and now we have the service. Now we need to import it also. So I'll just write import service and not this one this is actually importing this service in our assets in our assets if you see
Let's see if it works. Components, uh, service, uh, service.jsx. It says file not, uh, cannot find file service.jsx. Actually, we need to capitalize this. So let me just save it. Something like that. Let's go back to check. And as you can see, we have our services. And inside, we have a service as well. Great. Now, let's understand what we are actually doing. Let me just split it something like this so that we are able to see much better. Let me close the Explorer for now. Let's just give some basic design to our uh, services component. So firstly, I will target the services container and i will give it a background color of rgba the first one is going to be 62 and the second one is 161 third one is going to be 255 and 0.04 great all right uh, next we are going to target this h3 here so let's just Target this h3. I'll write a services container has a h3 tag inside, so we'll target that one and we'll just give it a text align of center. And then we're going to give it a font size of 32 pixels. Then font weight will be set to normal, and also we'll just give it a bottom uh, margin of let's say 42 pixels. Let me save it. Let's go back to browser to check, and yeah. As you can see, it's here. Perfect. Let's go back to Visual Studio Code. All right. Now, next, why is it showing in red color? Anyways, we'll look. Uh, we'll look into it. Why is it uh, behaving weirdly later on? For now, I'm going to target this services wrapper. So let me just copy the class name here and paste it. Now, for our services wrapper, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a display of flex. Also, gap will be 42 pixels and then I'll set the flex wrap to wrap because we will add uh, many services here, right? Also, justify content will be center. Hit save. All right, let's close these services. Now, our main thing is to design this service component. So, I'll just create a CSS file is already actually here. So, let me just split it for our good view and we are going to design the service component now. So for our service component, what we are going to do is, let me just delete the text here and let me give this div a class name and let's call it a service container. Now inside our service container, what we are going to do uh, is we are basically going to have multiple divs. So let me just write it down for you. The first div is going to be a service icon. So I will give it a class of service icon. This will basically hold the image. All right, this will be the first div. Let me just do it something like this. Then we will have another div inside and I will just call it service head. So I'll give it a class of service head, something like this. And we will have another div and I'll give it a class of service body. Great. Now basically this will hold the image. This will hold the heading of that particular service and this will hold some little bit, uh, let's say a paragraph of that service, right? Now for that, what we are going to do, since we are going to have many services, uh, listen to me. What we are going to do is we are going to create a, uh, basically a an array of services. Then we are going to use the map method of JavaScript uh, so that all of the services will be mapped inside this dev component. Let me show you how. Let's just save this for now and let's go to file explorer in our components, sorry, in our assets, I'm going to create a new file. And let's call it uh, services.js or JavaScript. Hit enter. Now inside, let's just close this explorer. Now inside, what I'm going to do is basically I will just import everything, all the images. Here, as you can see in our images, we have these different services. Let me just expand to show you. We have the vaccine icon. We have treatment. We have symptoms, self-care and many others will be there we have like this checkup so we are going to use all of these services so we will first import all these images here and then we will create an array of these images as well as all the data uh, necessary with it right so how will we do that it's very simple let me just say i will import an image let's say import vaccine from all right so it's in our assets 
okay inside assets it's in our images and let's say vaccine icon great so we have this vaccine icon now i'm going to create an array of all right so let's give it let's store it inside a constant let's call it services and it will be equal to an array of objects now inside we will have an object now understand this for each object there will be three properties first will be the image now the image is going to be of course that we imported that is vaccine all right second will be the name and we are going to give it a name of vaccine and third will be a paragraph so let's call it body and for the body i already have this sample text let me just copy and paste it for you something like this all right so let me just save it and then see we have image name body we are going we are going to create multiple services like this and then we will import it in our service.jsx component and then we will use the javascript's map method to map all of these services inside this service container pretty much simple so let me just do one thing let me import all the images and also create more objects for the services for you Okay, so I have imported all the images required for our services and I and I have also created different objects for all the services as you, as you can see vaccine, treatment, self-care, laboratory, also another treatment. It's fine. We can change it to something else. We have pet health, symptoms, checkup. Now we have this constant, all right, this constant of services, which is an array. Now each, now in this array, we have objects right multiple objects right so we are going to uh, export this services constant so i'll simply write export uh, default what is it of course our services very simple let's just save this okay now remember this is an array and inside array we have objects with three properties image name and body great we'll use it inside our services or service component so let me just close services.js now inside here in our services i'm going to import this services basically array right so i'll just simply write import uh, services not this one this will actually import a component we don't want that we want to import another asset so i'll write import services from and i'll say in our assets we have something like services exactly this is what we want now what we are going to do is very very simple let me just do one thing for our dev let me wrap it inside our react fragments something like this all right i'll show you so i have wrapped them all right and now i'm going to write some basic javascript but before that let's just create a tags here that we're going to use right so first will be an image tag now inside image we are going to have of course uh, the map method so we'll use javascript here for the alternate image we can have anything i don't know let's say a service icon and then in our head what we're going to do is we're going to have in h5 tag and then we will also have a paragraph tag very simple right now what what i'm going to do is let me just write curly braces because we need to write some javascript here now what i'm going to do is i'll write services these imported services if i click on it as you can see we have an array of objects so let me just close it so i'll i was here i'll write services and then i'll use the map method okay and then inside map method there will be a callback function okay now callback function there are going to be two parameters here first one will be the service and second one will be index now index is used because the parent dev must have in this uh, this uh, you know what do we call it a key prop that's why we need this index so let me just write this callback function and let me wrap all of my internal dews inside this callback function something like this perfect now see we are going to map our services and this will be of in of individual service right that we have so here let me just use it something like service dot image very simple and then in our h5 another curly braces and i will write service dot name great and for our paragraph i will write service dot body okay so let me just save this and let's go back to browser to check i'm in browser and as you can see we have everything that we needed as i told you earlier now we need to do a bit of styling to our service component so that so that all of this looks a bit appealing to the user let's go back to vs code 
and let's start designing our service component. So firstly, I will target this service container. Let me just copy and paste it. Now for this, what I'm going to do is I'll have a display of flex and then a flex direction of column. Of course, I'm going to have some background color of white. Let me just see if it is working. Let's save it. Let's go back to browser. Okay, yeah, it's working. It's definitely working. And we have this the little bit of white color. I hope you're able to see that. Let's go back to VS Code. And uh, what next? What I'm going to do is give it a gap of 16 pixels. And then let's give them a border a radius of, I don't know, 10 pixels maybe, right? And then we'll give them a padding of 34 pixels. Of course, the cursor will be pointer. Also, yeah, I think that is it for now. Let me just save it and let's go check. Okay. Yeah, they look fine. But uh, yeah, we can change them, I would say. But yeah, let it be for now. Let's see. Now let's target these things, this headings and this paragraph stuff. Let's go back to VS Code. And what I'm going to do is... Let me just target this H5. So I'm just going to copy paste this divs class and it is service head. So inside service head, we have a H5 tag. I will target it. I'll write the font size uh, to, let's say 22 pixels. Then the font weight is going to be 500. All right. Next up, I'm going to target this one, this services service body. So let me just copy it again and paste it. So I'm just going to give it a width so that it looks a bit smaller in width, of course. So width, let's say 15 width, it will be fine. Font size, of course, are default 16 pixels. And then I'm going to give it a grayish color. I have already written it. So let me just write it. It is hash 5C, 5C, 5C. Okay. So let me just save it and let's go back to browser to check. Okay. They look fine. As you can see. We can also add a hover effect, right? I mean, that may look good. So let's go back and add a hover effect here, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a transition, a very simple transition, in fact. And let's say all 0.3 seconds and is out. So we need to add a hover. Okay, something like this. I'll just write on hover what should be done is actually the background color should be changed to blue so i've already written it it's 174 db 26 e and of course let me just copy paste this transition here and i'll also have some transform scale of i don't know 1.1 and translate z would be set to zero so let me just save it. Let's go back to check. And okay, you can change it more if you want. But uh, for now, I, I'll say that uh, this looks fine. So I think we have, uh, we have designed our services component for now. And now let me just close this. All right. Yeah, it's gone, whatever the problem was. So yeah, we have designed three components, navbar, banner and services. And up next, we are going to design doctor's component now. That will be enough for this video. In the next video, we will build the doctor's component. Make sure to like this video, share it with your friends and I will see you in the next one.